Hey guys, welcome back to the Shire. My name is Rebecca and I am a stay at home mom and an online reseller across seven different platforms now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, first off you should, I am at the cozy Shire on Instagram, but I posted over there that I just started my seventh platform, which sounds crazy, but we'll talk about that a little bit today. Um, but my seventh platform is Etsy. So not everything is getting listed there, but the things that can, um, are or already have been. Uh, and I just want to address also, I forgot my tripod today. It is in the room where my toddler is napping. So it might be a little bit shaky because I'm on my phone just holding it right now. Um, hopefully that doesn't bother you too terribly much. <laughs> so as I said, I am now on seven platforms and I just wanted to throw in there real quick as to why I'm on seven platforms. That does sound a little bit crazy to a lot of people. Um, but as I've mentioned before, I don't have a lot of storage space for my inventory. So I need to keep my inventory moving and the more platforms I list on, the higher chance I have of that item selling. Uh, for example, I've had items that when I look on eBay, you know, maybe there's like, I don't know, 15 of the same thing listed, like maybe a DVD or something. Um, there's a ton listed, but mine sells on Facebook. So if I only had it on eBay, it might take even longer to sell because there's a lot more competition. So um, I do feel like it benefits me in that sense. And I don't know, it's just what's working for me and my business model right now. So that's why I add another platform. And I'm also trying to get into some more vintage type items that would work on Etsy, I think. So um, that's why I chose Etsy as an additional platform. Okay, I know the lighting's not great over here, but I had to move a little bit because I do not have strong arms and my arm was already starting to shake the camera a lot. So I kind of have you uh, just held up on top of a cabinet right now. <laughs> but anyway, our topic for discussion today is burnout. So <sighs> I felt like I needed to do this topic today because I am feeling kind of burnt out today. And it's not because of reselling. It's just because of life. <laughs> Sometimes we just get burnt out in life. And for me, it's taking care of a house, taking care of the kids, trying to stay fit, doing reselling, YouTube. It's a lot of things to keep up on. And it's okay to get burnt out sometimes. That just typically means that you need to rearrange things or maybe drop some things. Maybe you're trying to do too much. If you hear a baby, it's okay. It's just my daughter and my mom is with her. So she's just making some noise in the background. So for me, I feel like that means I need to move around the things I'm doing and figure out better time slots. So it's very difficult for me to do reselling during the day because I'm taking care of the kids. And I'm trying to do house stuff while taking care of the kids. And then in the evenings, I've been going to bed later, but what I find out is I'm not very good at staying up late. Well, I'm good at staying up late. I'm not good at being productive while staying up late. So, you know, I'm productive till maybe like 10 p.m. And then 10 p.m. comes and I'm like, okay, time to get ready for bed. And um, I just start like scrolling on my phone and doing nothing useful. <laughs> um, and I don't know why. So that's not working for me, obviously. So I think what I need to do is try to wake up earlier and not taking away from my sleep though, still trying to get, for me, I need like eight hours of sleep. Um, you know, maybe seven, but really like eight. <laughs> so I'm really gonna try to get that eight just by going to bed at like nine. My husband goes to bed even earlier because he wakes up really early for work. So if I go to bed around nine, then I should be able to wake up around five in theory, get eight hours of sleep, have about two hours before the kids wake up. And I'm hoping what I can do get a workout in, shower, and then do some reselling work on my phone. The reason I hadn't done that before is because I really struggle in the mornings. I'm not, I forget what they call it, but I'm not an early bird. I'm not a night owl. I'm like that, they call it like a midday chicken or something like that. I don't know. If you know the phrase, let me know. But uh, I'm best in the middle of the day. I don't do great at night and I don't do great in the morning. So I need to try to do great in the morning though, because right now I just feel like I don't have the energy to like work out because I'm too tired. I don't have the energy to, or the focus really, to do reselling work because I'm too tired. So I need to really work on that, see if I can restructure my brain a little bit and see if I can get that to work better for me. Um, and if not, then I don't know. I'll have to figure something else out. But 
my point is that we all kind of run into these times in our lives. I mean, I literally hit this like every couple months. I feel like I think a lot of it's just because my kids are young, so they change a lot. Their stages change, how much they nap, when they nap, which is a big factor in how I can handle my day. That changes a lot. So, but I feel like everyone kind of goes through this. And whether you're getting burnt out from the reselling aspect or just from life, I think it's important to just take a step back and reevaluate each thing you're doing, seeing if it's still important in your life and seeing if maybe you can just make changes to like a schedule like I'm doing, or maybe there's someone else in your life, like a spouse or older kids perhaps who can take on some of those tasks, but you don't want to just stay burnt out because that's when you get in a slump and then I feel like you just struggle all around, you know, your mental health struggles, your physical health struggles, um, and your business struggles usually. And right now, my business is actually doing really well. In my opinion, I'm making more sales than I thought I would. So that's not the problem. But the problem is I'm staying up later probably than I should to accomplish that. Um, and I actually feel like I was pushing myself so hard the other week um, that my body was telling me it was very stressed out. I was having heart palpitations and starting to have some uh, not great things in the whole cardiac region. So that's all settled out now. Uh, everything's fine. But... <laughs> You know, it, you don't want to mess around with that stuff. So don't get yourself all burnt out um, and stressed out and definitely don't let it cause health issues. All right, that's all I got to ramble on about today. So for reselling, our death pile. So this is part 10 of the Death to the Death Pile series. Um, I'm, I think I've been incorporating more and more stuff that's not part of the death pile. And that's okay. Um... I don't, I don't mind doing that because I think that's a good business strategy right now is just to keep things, you know, put some new things with some old things and move them around that way. So first I will say my mom went to a yard sale and sourced for me while she was there. So she only picked up two things. I will show you what those are. And I did have a quick um, like retail arbitrage sourcing trip, I suppose, today earlier today when I had to go out. So I will show you what I got there. Um, I don't have any of that stuff in any other kind of haul video, so you'll only see it here. And then I'll show you the rest of what I plan on listing. So I'm going to try to lean you up against uh, an alarm clock and a wall and we'll see how this works. <laughs> okay, I think this will work for now. You're getting a little bit of the cabinet here, but hopefully that's not too big of an issue. So the things my mom picked up at a yard sale for me, the first item is this Harley Davidson shirt. It's just a women's like performance material shirt. It's a size small. And I am going to use my GoPro for future videos. So hopefully the focus issue won't be there. Um, but it's embroidered on the front, which is really nice. And then on the back, it's embroidered, it says Highland Harley Davidson, Somerset PA. So uh, she didn't like contact me or consult me on these items, but she did really well, I think. She paid $1.50 for this, so I paid $1.50 for it. Um, I think usually shirts like this, I would say somewhere between the $15 and $20 range, so it is something I would have picked up on my own as well. I'm not going to be listing this this week, though. This is going to go in the box that has all the like short sleeve and summer type items, so we'll save it for a later haul. The other thing that she picked up is this DVD set. It's called The End Times, Bible Prophecy and Promises. She got it for $1. It says it's over seven hours on six discs and it's still sealed, so it's new. Um, I would have probably picked this up too, possibly, but I don't, I don't have an issue with her having picked it up. So for a dollar, it looks like comps are around the $20 range. Um, and the subject matter, since it's religion, is a pretty good subject matter to choose. Um, and since they're new and sealed and everything, I think, I mean, this is one of those things like I was talking about in the beginning with cross listing. So even though there's like the sell through rate isn't bad on this, but even though there's a ton listed on eBay, it doesn't mean it's going to sell on eBay. This could sell on Facebook Marketplace, Mercari, literally anywhere else I list it. So um, it doesn't bother me too much that there's others listed. So this item I will be listing or taking photos of this week to list. The item that I got while I was out 
doing retail arbitrage today. I try to do it at like Walmart and Target, no luck. Um, they just don't discount their clearance stuff quite enough for resale, for the things I was looking at at least. But I did go over to TJ Maxx again, which is where I had gotten that Ray Dunn cosmetic bag, um, which I have photos of but haven't listed yet. So um, I think TJ Maxx tends to do a little better as far as discounting things. But anyway, um, I didn't find like any bags or anything. I usually look for like bags and hats, things like that. But I looked over in the makeup section or skincare and stuff like that, health and beauty. And I didn't, I don't particularly like to buy things that are like liquids and stuff because I don't want to have to deal with shipping that. But I found this, I'll show it to you. It says Lab Series Max LS Power V Cream. I don't know, but it appears to be like a skincare for men. And uh, it's completely new and sealed and everything. And they had it marked down to $5. And from what I can tell, it has nearly a 100% sell-through rate on eBay. There were like 50 some listed and 50 some sold. And um, they were somewhere in the range of the like $25 to $40. Some included shipping, some didn't. So that's why it's like such a price range, um, but for the sold. So for $5 into it, I got five of these. They had five of them, all new sealed. So I'm gonna just do a multi-quantity listing. And even if it sold for 20 or 25 plus shipping, um, I mean, obviously I'm gonna probably list it for more than that, but even if it, you know, went down that low, for five bucks, I'm still going to make um, a decent profit. And it's a little bit more than $5 because of tax, but uh, I'll work that out when I put it in my spreadsheet. Some of these items you've seen before if you've watched my haul videos, so I'm just going to go over them really quickly. But I'm going to be listing, I say listing, but taking photos and then listing um, this like wicker, wicker wooden woven, whatever you call it, like giant trivet. It's not a trivet, but anyway, this decorative piece, I'll be listing that. I will also be listing this mug, which is so super cute. I actually put this in my instagram stories um the week before i got it because they originally had it marked at $1.99 i didn't want to pay $1.99 for it but the next week it was only one dollar and uh i got it for a dollar and i just think this is adorable i don't know maybe it's just me but it seemed like a lot of other people liked it too i also plan to list these hen vintage curtains so i will do one listing Oops, dropping them. I'll do one listing that is the um, two tiers. And then I will do a separate listing that is a tier and like the balance, what they call it, the swag. One tier and one swag. So this is like a set and these are just two tiers. So those will be two separate listings. I am slightly over my 15 item mark this week. I think I'm at like 17. Um, but we're going to be really busy this weekend when I normally do photographs because it's going to be my daughter's first birthday party on Saturday. And, uh, so it's going to be limited, limited time for me to take photos. So everything I'm taking photos of, I'll be able to do like a flat lay situation instead of putting them up on, um, on the wall, like hang none of this. It's not clothing items. So we're just going to get all these like hard goods and shoes and stuff out of the way. I'm also going to list these ice traction slip-ons. Hopefully someone still needs them. I did just sell some pants to Alaska, so maybe someone in Alaska needs some of these. And then the rest of the items are going to be shoes. So I'll be listing these Sam's Club Allbirds, which apparently are an employee exclusive. So those were in another haul. I'll be listing those. I'll also be listing these Tevas that were in the haul. And these little Keen boots, um, I'll be listing those as well. Though I kind of want to keep them for my daughter, but we'll list them if they don't sell, then she can have them. <laughs> so the rest of the items that I'm going to be listing are just uh, kids' shoes usually, or most of them are from my kids or hand-me-downs that we didn't use. I think they're all girl shoes. So the first ones are these Stride Right little shoes. Uh, her feet are just a little bit too big for these now. I had bought these at a thrift store, I think at Goodwill, when I was pregnant with her because I thought they were really cute. Um, these are a size three and a half. So they're in really good condition. 
I mean, she can't walk, so <laughs> I don't think most people or most kids with three and a half feet, I don't think most children with size three and a half feet can walk. There we go. <laughs> so they're really cute. I also had these little Uggs. These are actual Uggs, Ugg branded. Where is it? There we go. The um, bottoms are a little bit dirty. I don't know what this is, but it was, these were from a hand-me-down box and <laughs> it was like that when we got them. So, um, but once again, these are like, what are these, a three, I think. Uh, size two slash three. So she did wear these a few times in the winter, but she mostly just pulled them off and tried to chew on them. So they are still in very good condition. I'll see if I can clean up the bottom of that one before I take pictures of it. It's nice, they have like this hook and loop, so they open the whole way because if you've ever tried to put a shoe on a baby, you know, they just curl their toes up and it's nearly impossible to get a shoe on them. So it's nice that it opens up nice and wide, has hook and loop on both sides. It says, Ugg, and this is still like so super soft and like not used at all. Um, and you can tell that these are authentic. They have the little uh, tag there. Hologram or holographic or whatever, holographic. I feel like everybody who talks about that uh, can never remember which one it is and I can't either. So I'll put it on the screen, whichever one it was, if it's hologram or holograph, but um, I've heard that even little tiny baby Uggs can do really well. So we'll find out. Then I have these. I was considering not even like listing them. I'm still kind of debating. I might just take them to the local kids consignment shop. Um, these aren't Converse. They're just like kind of made to look like that. They're just like a crib shoe. So they're soft. There's fabric on the bottom. They're not meant to be walked like to walk on or anything. They're just like a China cheapy shoe. There's no brand or anything, but I had gotten these for a dollar at a yard sale for my daughter last summer. So she wore them a few times, but like I said, she can't walk. So, I mean, if I list them, I'll probably list them for like 10 bucks. I might, I have some like little baby moccasins too. So maybe someone would want to pair them together or something like that. Um, but if they sit, I mean, I don't know how long, a year or <laughs> whenever I go through my inventory and stuff again, if they haven't sold, then I'll probably just take them to a kid's consignment shop and see if they give me like a buck back <laughs> more hand-me-down shoes these are just cute little like mickey mouse flip-flops pink flip-flops um says they're an extra extra small five slash six and yeah that's all it really says i don't know oh well, yeah it is actually disney branded oh i don't know if you'll be able to see that probably not but you can see some like white lettering in here it says disney um my son never <laughs> liked these like thong style sandals and I don't particularly anticipate my daughter liking that either. I don't even really like it. So we're just going to pass these on there. I don't even know if they were worn much. They're still in really good shape on the bottom. So like I said, hopefully someone will maybe pair a bunch of these little baby shoes together or something. We also have these little sandals. These are actually really cute. <laughs> They're like little fox faces. Um, and these are from Zara. These were hand-me-downs as well. There's a Zara. And it says 22 for the size. It's a European 22. So I'll have to do the conversion. Um, I'll put that on the screen. How about over there? We'll put it over there. Whatever I figure that out to be. My guess is like a five. Let's see. Yeah, they look to be about the same size as those flip-flop so probably like a five or six I don't know what these would go for um once again I considered keeping them but I just I don't know my kid I'm basing everything for my daughter off my son and my son never wanted to wear sandals he just wore sneakers like even during the summer um and we have like those like bump toe sandals that I'll probably try to put her in but she's not walking fully yet so uh, we, I don't think we need these ones. <laughs> Next hand-me-down we have are these little Nike shocks, I'm assuming is what they're supposed to be. Um, they're like a little bit dirty. I'll clean them up a bit. These were in a hand-me-down box, like I said, and they're still in good condition. Aside from being a little dirty, I might throw them in the wash, actually, because they're a little more discolored than I originally thought. So I might like spray them with some, uh, 
shout is usually what I use for stains and throw them in the wash. But the front of them opens up like it opens this way to put their foot in. So uh, these are a size 4C. Um, and I tried them on my daughter, but they did not fit. So I think they run maybe a little bit small, but they're just like cute pink Nike sneakers. So we'll get those cleaned up and listed. The last item I'll be doing pictures of this week um, are these Keds. I'll take them out of the box, but uh, these I actually found when I was pregnant with my daughter at an antique shop. They were just in somebody's booth for $4. Um, I got them and used them for our like gender reveal picture. They are so cute. They're like this purple, like what's that called? Like an oil spill iridescent look to them. Uh, brand new, I mean, they're still in the box. She never wore them. I tried putting her foot in them and it's like, <laughs> Some some kids have like chunky baby feet. She doesn't have chunky baby feet, but I think just because, um, you know, she's never walked, <laughs> her feet are still very arched. I think most babies' feet are pretty arched. They haven't gotten the weight to like flatten them out yet. So it doesn't, this is like really narrow in here. So her foot doesn't quite fit in there. And these I think are a size four, yeah, four M. They're the Champion Toe Cap T-Strap. I don't know. I think they're so cute. I really wish they fit her, but they don't. So I am going to sell them. And we'll sell them in the box because this will be an easy box to ship out. Hopefully. We'll see what the weight is. I don't usually ship shoes in boxes because of the weight. Um, but... These ones, I might, depending on how much they weigh. But there's like, they've got their little shoe conversion. So that would be what size? What did I say they were? Threes? Six to nine months. Yeah, she's about to turn a year old. So too small for her. I know, I said they were size four, right? Nine to 12 months. Still too small. Either way, they don't fit her. So we'll list those. That is everything that I am listing this week. Uh, I know this was kind of a quicker video, just like the last one, but kind of as I said in the beginning of this video, I feel like I've had a lot going on lately. I'm just trying to get everything done. Um, and yeah, you know, it's starting to get nice out, except for today. <laughs> Got really cold again. Really hoping it warms up soon and that the uh, we don't need to have the heat on because I know, I don't know if it bugs you guys as much as it bugs me, but I can see on my hair just like sticking out and it's because it's so dry from our heat that it's just like staticky everything we touch gets shocked so <laughs> I'm ready for the warm weather to be outside in the sun a little bit for yard sales of course um and yeah to get get done with this cold so I appreciate you watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a like that lets YouTube know that you liked it and that they should show it to other people because they may like it too and if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I post more videos. And if you haven't seen the other Death to the Death Pile series videos, you can check out the playlist. I have them all in the playlist. Like I said, this is number 10, I think I said it was. So there's a whole lot of videos if you wanna go back and see what else was in my death pile from the beginning. And don't forget to let me know below if you want me to do a wrap up video for the death pile or to just tell me, hey, stop doing death pile series videos. We don't want them anymore. I won't be offended. You just let me know and I will stop them. So I hope you are having a great day and I will see you in the next one.